Hi, my name is Dave Tenney. I'm a product manager at Agilent Technologies and uh, I handle what we call our general purpose electronic measurement instruments. And I'm here today to show you our new Trueform generators, specifically a couple of the key uh, signal fidelity capabilities that make these very useful generators. I'm actually going to compare the new Trueform to an existing DDS generator. And to make it a, a fair comparison, I've created a square wave as an arbitrary waveform separately as a CSV file. And I've downloaded the exact same waveform to both generators. So the only difference between the generators should be the way they actually play that, that signal. Now let me begin by describing the square wave here a bit. I'm playing a, a square wave at 7 megahertz, uh, both generators, at uh, 5 volts peak to peak. Um, both of them have 50 ohm loading output as well as a scope all matched, so there's no, there are no differences there. So I want to show you a couple things. Um, but let me first start by the true form arbitrary waveform capability. We have some different filters, so it actually allows me to optimize either the rise time or minimize the overshoot. Uh, the DDS generators don't allow us to do that. Uh, in this case, I've got the filter set to optimize to, uh, to minimize the overshoot. So let me, in fact, show you. Um, I'll start by changing uh, the view a little bit here of the waveforms. Uh, you can see the green one is the DDS waveform, and you can see that it has a little bit of undershoot and overshoot. There's actually more ringing at the corner of that square wave. Um, so that's one difference. So now let me actually stretch out the, the uh, time uh, variable on, on the waveform, and you'll actually, you can see this undershoot and overshoot even more on the uh, DDS uh, waveform. And as I take it all the way out, you can also now get a very, very good view of the jitter on the DDS waveform. In fact, this particular Trueform generator has one picosecond of jitter, just one picosecond. Uh, the DDS generator that I'm comparing it to has 200 picoseconds of jitter, and that's pretty common on uh, DDS generators. So this is just one example of the signal fidelity of these Trueform generators from Agilent.